Assalamu alaikum. In the chapter of educational psychology, today we will study learning theories in the classroom by their knowledge. In the topic of learning theories in the classroom, we will study how to use behaviorism in classroom, incorporate behaviorism into course design, implement a classroom reward system, team up with their teachers for support, apply behaviorism to classroom teaching and discipline. How to use behaviorism in a classroom. In the topic of how to use behaviorism in the classroom, we will study about teacher working with students in the classroom. First, let's check his brief background. It was first time introduced in 1950s by B.F. Skinner. According to B.F. Skinner, behaviorism is the learned response reinforced by the consequences resulting from that behavior. Behavior modification technique includes praise, reward, continual feedback, positive reinforcement, non-punitive discipline. In praise, student is appreciated for doing a good work by saying great, terrific, wow, brilliant, well done, super, or petting, clapping for a student also is a part of praise. Reward system. Reward system is also known as talk on economy. In the process of reward system, student is rewarded by giving stickers or by placing beads in the bracelet. Anything that is rewarded by doing a positive work. Continual feedback. In the process of continual feedback, a teacher tells the student where the student is doing good, what student is doing good, and where the student need improvement. In positive reinforcement, student is rewarded for doing a good job. In operant conditioning, positive reinforcement involves the addition of a reinforcing stimulus following a behavior that makes it more likely that the behavior will occur again in the future when a favorable outcome event or reward occurs after an action that particular response or behavior will be strengthened. In the process of positive reinforcement, a favorable outcome will be done or an event will be done or a reward will be given. If those things happen, the behavior is repeated due to positive reinforcement. Non-punitive discipline. In the process of non-punitive discipline, student is not punished. Student is thought disciplined without punishing student. In non-punitive discipline, for example, if student is not performing well or any other employee is not performing well, investigation is done and then letter is sent to their home or it is told to a student where they need improvement. Next topic is incorporate behavior into course design. In incorporate behavior, Using weighted grades for homework, assignments, exams, and class participation is an effective application of behavior. For example, if you give a marks for something, for homework or assignments, students will give value to such things. You give students ongoing feedback to point out what they are doing well and where they need improvement. This is also known as continual feedback. Implement a classroom reward. In the process of implement, uh, implementing a classroom reward, talk on economy is most important. It is the implementation of a behaviors, behaviorism strategy. In the process of talk on economy, students are told how to earn a token such as listening, staying on task, and raising their hands. For example, if the student listen and uh, st staying attentively in the class, raise their hands and is well behaving they can earn a token. Token system depends on child's age. Token can be stars, stickers, or punch cards. It depends upon child's age. It can also be effective with students with autism spectrum disorder. Well, autism spectrum disorder uh, is a kind of a disorder uh, in which it can be a communication difficulty or any other. It, it varies from a very, um, person to person. Team up with other teachers for support. 
collaborate with other teachers interested in using behaviorism to improve students' performance and behavior. Use the process of positive behavioral intervention. In the process of positive behavioral intervention, a positive reinforcement is done. Positive behavior is supported. PBIS, positive behavior and intervention and support include clear communication, regular routines, consistent reinforcement of targeted behavior, social skills training, natural consequences such as temporary loss of privileges. PBIS is an organization which supports the positive reinforcement. For example, suspending a student from school is discouraged by PBIS. PBIS would include clear communication so a student could understand the clear rules and could understand what teachers want. Regular routines mean whatever the rules are assigned, they should be followed regularly. Reinforcement of targeted behavior. It also includes positive and negative reinforcements. Social skill training includes social interactions. Natural consequences such as temporary loss of privileges also depends upon how you will control the natural consequences and how will you work in natural consequences. Apply behaviorism to classroom, teaching and discipline. Apply behaviorism to classroom, teaching and discipline. It also it includes Develop a system for tracking students' progress and intervene if problem arises. Which means, if there is a problem with a student, so you have to track the student's progress. For example, why is this problem arising? Where the students need improvement? You have to track the student's progress. How is the student working? Communicate to students your academic and behavioral expectations. You will have to tell the students what are your expectations from them. What do you want from them? Do you want higher grades? Do you want students to behave well? Do you want students to follow the rules? You will have to tell. You will have to communicate to students about uh, academic and behavioral expectations. Use exams and grades to encourage students to do their best work. Exams and grades are very important and plays an effective role in the best work of student. It encourages student to do work, to do hard work. If you suspect student aren't completing assignment readings, start giving quizzes to motivate students. For example, if you have given a homework to a student and student is not doing a homework, or if you have assigned any reading to a student and that student is not doing his or her homework so by giving quizzes or any test will motivate the student to do the work reward those who work hard by rewarding students who work hard will encourage the students to repeat that behavior reward can be stickers it depends on child's age for a student of an older age the reward could be scholarships. Use techniques of praise positive behavior. Praise positive behavior include if a student is doing a good work, a student is showing a positive behavior, student is working hard, that is called positive behavior and by appreciating that positive behavior is known as praise positive behavior. Ignoring mentally irritating behavior and consistently enforce consequences for breaking rules. This includes both positive and negative reinforcement. For example, if a student is doing an, uh, something wrong, that is kind of mildly, ir mildly irritating behavior, so it can be ignored. By ignoring such behavior and only praising the positive behavior, students will learn that if I do something good, I will be appreciated, and if I do something wrong, I will not be appreciated. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.